A very good afternoon. You're watching the Midday News on Rajya Sabha Television, where we get you all the developing news stories at the top of this hour. I'm Ashwarya Kapoor, and these are the headlines. Prime Minister Narendra Modi files nomination from Varanasi seat. Top BJP leaders, including Amit Shah, Rajnath Singh, accompany Prime Minister. NDA leaders Nitish Kumar, Uddhav Thakre, Ramilas Paswan, Parka Singh Badal also present. Pro-incumbency wave in the country for the first time. Prime Minister Modi tells BJP workers in Varanasi, exhorts booth workers to ensure that all records of polling are broken. Campaigning for fourth phase in the last lap, BJP chief Amit Shah to address rallies in Rajasthan, Jalore and Jodhpur. Rahul Gandhi leads Congress's campaign in Bihar, Odisha and Maharashtra. Nirav Modi to appear before London court for a remand hearing today. Hearing to take place at Westminster Magistrate Court via video link from jail. And uh, Indian boxer Amit Pangal clinches gold at the Asian Boxing Championship. Pangal defeats Korea's uh, Kim Inq by 5-0 to establish his reign in the continent. National champion Deepak Singh settles for silver. First up, all the news related to the upcoming election phase 4. Prime Minister Narendra Modi filed his nomination from the Varanasi Lok Sabha constituency. Prime Minister Modi was accompanied by top BJP and NDA leaders to the collectorate. Besides the BJP chief Amit Shah, Union Home Minister Rajnath Singh and External Affairs Minister Sushma Swaraj were with the Prime Minister. NDA leaders including Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar, SAD leader Parkash Singh Badal, Shiv Sena Chief Pa Uddhav Thakre, AIA DMK leader M. Thambi Turai were with Prime Minister Modi at the collectorate as he filed his nomination papers. मैं काशीवासियों का अंतःकरण पूर्वक आभार व्यक्त करता हूं पांच साल के बाद फिर एक बार काशीवासियों ने मुझे जो आशीर्वाद दिए हैं एक प्रकार से कल शाम को पांच बजे से लेकर अगर रात के एक चार छह घंटे निकाल दें शायद इतना लंबा रोड शो बारह पंद्रह घंटे का रोड शो एक काशीवासी ही कर सकते हैं ये बाबा की नगरी मां गंगा के आशीर्वाद भारत के उज्जवल भविष्य के लिए काशीवासी संकल्पबद्ध है ये जो प्यार ये दुलार ये आशीर्वाद काशीवासियों ने दिए हैं मैं हृदय पूर्वक उनका आभार व्यक्त करता हूं और मैं सभी मतदाताओं से प्रार्थना करूंगा कि सभी मतदाता जहां जहां चुनाव बाकी है तीन तीन चरण हुए हैं बाकी जो भी मतदान बाकी है सभी चरण में बहुत ही शांतिपूर्ण तरीके से एक लोकतंत्र के उत्सव के रूप में हमारे देश के मतदाता मतदान करें ऐसा माहौल कुछ लोग अब बनाने लगे हैं कि मोदी जी तो जीत गए जीत गए जीत गए और इसलिए वोट नहीं करोगे तो चलेगा कृपा करके ऐसे लोगों की बातों के मैं मत आइए मतदान ही आपका हक है लोकतंत्र के उत्सव है और इसमें 
सबने मतदान करना चाहिए ज्यादा से ज्यादा मतदान करना चाहिए और लोकतंत्र को मजबूत करना चाहिए सरकार मजबूत बनानी चाहिए और देश मजबूत करने के लिए मतदान करना चाहिए मैं फिर एक बार मीडिया के लोगों का भी आभार व्यक्त करता हूं क्योंकि आप भी शायद मैं तो पांच बजे पहुंचा लेकिन आप कल दोपहर से लगे हुए हो करीब 24 घंटे से 24 घंटे से आप लगे हैं और इस धूप में काम कर रहे हैं मैं चाहूंगा कि तबीयत आपकी अच्छी रहे आप लोगों का स्वास्थ्य अच्छा रहे आपको बहुत शक्ति मिले बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद आपका एंड बिफोर फाइलिंग हिज द नॉमिनेशन प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी ऑफर्ड प्रेस एट द काल भैर ऑफ टेम्पल and many senior bjp and nda leaders accompanied the prime minister during his nomination ye sabse jo hai ye varanasi hai kashi ki bhumi hai aur yahan kya kehte hain ki yahan se pratinidhitva karna pradhan mantri ka aur 5 saal tak pradhan mantri rahe phir ab 5 saal tak to rahenge hi aur bhi rahenge to ye hum logon ke liye bhi garv ki baat hai aur हाँ ये क्या कहते हैं कि प्रधानमंत्री के लिए काशी नगरी से जो है प्रदित करते हैं सब लोगों के लिए गर्व की बात है बहुत अच्छा माहौल है शक्ति प्रदर्शन क्या है जनता प्रदर्शन है शक्ति प्रदर्शन की कोई जरूरत नहीं है गुड शो दैट शो से थम्पिंग मेजोरिटी इट्स नॉट ओनली रिफ्लेक्ट इन वाराणसी अदर पार्ट ऑफ द इंडिया ऑल्सो दिस सेम मूड इज देर देर फॉर विनिंग ऑफ बीजेपी एनडीए गवर्नमेंट बनारस में आप लोग जानते हो बनारस में क्या संदेह देश में एनडीए को थ्री फोर्थ मेजोरिटी हासिल होगी बनारस के लोग बहुत सौभाग्यशाली हैं क्योंकि बाकी सभी संसदीय क्षेत्रों के मतदाता अपना सांसद चुन रहे हैं लेकिन बनारस के मतदाता देश का प्रधानमंत्री चुन रहे हैं एनडीए की सरकार बन रही है एक बार फिर बड़ी मजबूत सरकार बन रही है और माननीय श्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी के नेतृत्व में बन रही है और इसमें किसी तरीके की कोई शंका नहीं है कोई संदेह नहीं है एंड आर कुलीग कृष्ण मोहन शर्मा इज ज्वाइनिंग अस लाइव फ्रॉम वाराणसी ही इज बीन ट्रैकिंग प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी टू डे विजिट टू वाराणसी फॉर द लास्ट टू डेज कृष्ण नाउ प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी वे फाइलिंग हिज नॉमिनेशन फ्रॉम वाराणसी ऑफ कॉर्स ही सीकिंग अ सेकेंड टर्म इन पावर बट वॉट अ शो ऑफ स्ट्रेंथ विद गैलेक्सी ऑफ एलाइज एंड मिनिस्टर्स बाय हिस इन डी डर सेंडिंग अ स्ट्रॉन्ग पोलिटिकल मैसेज Modi along with the others NDA neta wanted to show a united face to the UPA UPA and the Mahagathbandhan BJP are of the view that they are sath sath hain so so that Uddhav Thakre a leaders like Nitish Kumar and SAD leader Prakash Singh Badal were present and all of them have posed a united face before the nation and they are saying that we are for the people by the people and for the nation and they want to build a young India and new India Absolutely, and uh, Kr- Krishna, what was very interesting was that after filing his nomination, uh, we saw Prime Minister Modi there stopping for a while and interacting with the locals. Very characteristic PM Modi style, where he chatted with the people there, and he not only thanked the people of uh, Varanasi, but he also called upon all uh, the voters in uh, the rest of the stages of elections, calling upon them to come out in large numbers and exercise their franchise. Narendra Modi appealed to the voters that be confident but not be over confident. Mm-hmm. He said that evaluate my work and give the vote on my account of my work which we have done in the past 5 years for the Varanasi and for the nation. Prime Minister clearly indicated and clearly sent a message to their supporter that NDA is winning not because of uh, not because of the leaders but because of the support of the people which they are getting from the ground. And they are saying that if go to the people and make them feel make them understand that what modi government have done or what they can do for the future so there was a clear message for their voter and supporter that be confident but not over confident come out and vote absolutely pm modi there filing his nomination from varanasi 
this afternoon a short while back and not only uh, displaying a huge sh show of strength uh, with the NDA allies by his side, he also interacted with the people, uh, the electorate there of uh, Varanasi and from people from the rest of the country as well. Thank you so much, uh, Krishna Mohan, for joining us from Varanasi. We'll uh, keep coming back to you in the subsequent bulletins. And uh, pro-incumbency wave is being witnessed for the first time in the country. Prime Minister Narendra Modi told this uh, to party workers in Varanasi before filing his nomination papers, noting that the mood of the uh, festive uh, from Kashmir to Kanyakumari. PM Modi said that party workers are the real candidates. The Prime Minister said that he has worked honestly for good governance and the people have uh, made up their minds that they want Modi Sarkar again. We don't हम ही सब कुछ है भगवान ने सब ज्ञान हमको ही दिया है वो उसमें जाओ है उनका हाल देश की जनता ने क्या कर दिया हिकड़ी मारने वालों का 400 से 40 हो गए हिकड़ी नहीं मारनी है दोस्तों पूरी तरह सर झुका करके हाथ जोड़ करके नमन करके हमने नम्रता के साथ चुनाव लड़ना है आप अगर मोदी के सिपाही है हम जो टीवी में झगड़ा करते हैं या भाषण में झगड़ा करते हैं उससे प्रेरणा मत लीजिए दोस्ती प्रेम ये राजनीति में बहुत जरूरी है जो धीरे धीरे खत्म हो रही है हमें वो वापस लाना है भाईचारा प्रेम वापस लाना है कोई मोदी को कितनी ही भर्ती गाली दे आप चिंता मत करो भाई and after filing his nomination in Varanasi, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has now headed to Madhya Pradesh and Maharashtra. In Madhya Pradesh, Prime Minister Modi will address public meetings in Sidhi and Jabalpur. Former Madhya Pradesh Chief Minister Shivrat Singh Chauhan will also be present at Prime Minister's Sidhi rally. And in Maharashtra, PM Modi will address a poll rally at the Bandra Kundra complex in Mumbai. Remember, 17 Lok Sabha constituencies in Maharashtra will go to polls in the fourth and the final phase in the state. And BJP Chief Amit Shah will campaign in Rajasthan today. He will address a public rally in Rajasthan's Jalor Lok Sabha constituency in the support of the party candidate. Uh, David Devji Patil here. He will also attend a roadshow in Jodhpur for the BJP candidate and Union Minister Gajendra Singh, who is also the sitting MP from this constituency. And Congress President Rahul Gandhi will be in Bihar, Odisha and Maharashtra today. He will campaign for state party president Niranjan Patnaik's son, Nabya Jyoti Patnaik, in Balasore. And in Maharashtra, Rahul Gandhi will address the rallies in Ahmednagar. In Madhya Pradesh, 70% of the population lives in rural areas and issues of farmers have assumed importance ahead of the elections. Both the BJP and the Congress aim to garner the votes of farmers in the ensuing Lok Sabha elections. Here is how political parties are orienting their election campaign to address farmers' issues. Madhya Pradesh enjoys diverse climatic and soil conditions suitable for a broad range of crops. The agricultural sector forms the backbone of Madhya Pradesh's economy, contributing almost one-fourth of the state's GDP. It is also the main source of employment for over 65% of its population and constitutes about 60 to 75% of the rural income. The government has hope that we have हम से कम गेहूं 25 रुपए क्विंटल बिके धान 22 रुपए क्विंटल बिके और खाद भी समय से मिले और जो हमारे का सोसाइटी जो तुलाई करती है वो अपना समय से चलम को प्राइवेट ना बेचना पड़े द बीजेपी क्लेम्स दैट अंडर इट्स रेजिम बिटवीन 2000 2001 एंड 2014 15 एग्री जीडीपी फॉर मध्य प्रदेश ग्रो एट एन एनुअल एवरेज ऑफ 9.4% सेकंड ओनली टू गुजरात from 2010 to 2015, Madhya Pradesh received four consecutive Krishi Karman Award by the Union Government for highest growth in food production. The BJP has made three key promises. Zero interest loans up to 1 lakh to farmers, expanding the Pradhan Mantri Kisan Yojana to all farmers and pension to small and marginal farmers and small shop owners in the country. Congress ke logo ne ek 
कि हम किसानों का दो लाख तक का कर्जा माफ कर देंगे उस दो लाख के कर्जे की माफी की घोषणा को लेकर तात्कालिक लाभ के चक्कर में लोगों ने कांग्रेस को वोट दिया है तो अभी मुझे चार महीने में कोई ऐसा आदमी नहीं दिया मिला जिसका दो लाख रुपए का कर्जा माफ हुआ हो किसी का आठ हजार किसी का दो हजार किसी का पंद्रह सौ किसी का सात सौ इस तरीके से कर्जा माफ करने का बात की जितना उन्होंने प्रावधान किया है उतना उन्होंने बजट में ही नहीं लाया तो जिस तरह क्या उन्होंने छल किया किसानों के साथ निश्चित रूप से किसानों को तकलीफ हुई है The ruling Congress is betting big on its farm debt waiver scheme for gaining ground in the Lok Sabha elections. However, with only 2.48 million of the over 5 million farmers benefiting from the scheme so far, the party is hard pressed to fulfill its promise. And we are very happy to tell you that and the farmers of the state know about, knows about it. We've already cleared the loan accounts of worth 2 lakh rupees of almost 22 lakh farmers. Then the election uh, code of conduct was forced we are waiting for the election conduct uh, elections to get over and we had we have not made a promise we have given a vachan we have given a vachan to the farmers of the state and we will fulfill our vachan at any cost come what may and definitely the rest remaining 30 lakh farmers will be benefited out also after the parliamentary elections madhya pradesh will go to polls in four phases starting with the fourth phase on 29th april Both the BJP and the Congress have made host of promises in their manifestos to uplift farmers with the BJP aiming to double farmers income by the year 2022 and the Congress promising a separate farmers budget which promise dominates the minds of the farmers while they cast their ballot now that remains to be seen reporting from Madhya Pradesh with camera person Jitendra Negi I'm Kriti Mishra for Rajya Sabha Television Those were all the election-related news, and we'll take a very short break here. We'll be back with more news on the other side. Stay tuned. Tales that inspire. Stories of social change. A salute to diversity, promoting public discourse, events that motivate, inspiring the innovative spirit. Watch Rajya Sabha television documentaries. matches up to narendra modi then i don't think that the, the issue of who matches up to narendra modi is what's important i don't think it's a matter of is it modi versus x i think modi versus x mandir versus masjid national versus anti national these are just spins and diversions congress has not been able to come out as a party which is at the center of all the alliances no we've tried to stitch together alliances with all parties Some parties don't want to come, then want to join us. That's a different issue. There is a Milan Deora camp and a Sanjay Nirupam camp. Not at all. We are all united. I am seeing great unity um, between all workers, leaders of the party. Watch the campaign trail with Mumbai Congress Chief Milan Deora only on Rajya Sabha Television. Welcome back after the break. Justice N V Ramanna on Thursday recused himself far from the in-house inquiry committee examining the allegations of sexual harassment against the Chief Justice of India. In a three-page letter to his colleagues, Justice N V Ramanna recused himself from the committee in keeping with the highest standards of judicial propriety and wisdom. Now, this comes after the woman complainant expressed reservations about the inclusion of Justice Ramanna in the committee, saying that he was a close friend and like a fam family member to the CJI. Justice Indu Malhotra has replaced Justice Ramanna as the third member of the committee. Justice Indira Banerjee is the other member of the Justice S A Bobde led committee. 
Fugitive diamond tear Nirav Modi will appear before a London court for a remand hearing today. Nirav Modi will be produced before a judge at the Westminster Magistrates Court via video link from the jail. He is currently lodged at the Wandsworth Prison in South West London since his arrest last month. The 48-year-old diamond businessman is currently undergoing extradition proceedings in the UK in the PNB fraud and money laundering case. The hearing follows his bail being rejected on 29th of March on the grounds uh, that there was a substantial risk that he would fail to surrender if given bail. The top international focus, uh, Sri Lanka's top police official, Inspector General of Police, uh, Pujit uh, Jayasundra, has resigned over failures that led to the deadly Easter bomb attacks. The resignation comes after the country's top defense ministry official, Defense Secretary Hema Siri Fernando, resigned on Thursday. Also, Sri Lanka has revised down the death toll from last Sunday's wave of bombings by more than 100 to about 253. It blamed a calculation error and the difficulty of identifying victims. Meanwhile, the UK and Australia have advised their citizens not to travel to Sri Lanka unless their journey is essential, as terrorists were likely to carry out further attacks in the country. According to the advisories issued, further attacks could be indiscriminate, including in the places visited by foreigners. Big story from the United States. Uh, former U.S. Vice President uh, Joe Biden formally joined the Democratic presidential contest. Biden is betting on his uh, working class appeal and his ties to Barack Obama's presidency. He made his announcement in a video posted on Twitter. Biden, a 76-year-old uh, lifelong politician, has uh, unmatched uh, international and legislative experience and he's among the best-known faces in U.S. politics. The Republican Party wasted no time seeking to undercut Biden's record, releasing a video on Thursday questioning economic growth under Barack Obama and Joe Biden. Sporting action now, Indian boxer Amit Pangal has picked up his second successive gold medal of the year today, claiming the top honours in the Asian Championships today. Pangal, who won the Asian Games gold medalist medal last year, defeated uh, Korea's Kim Inq in a unanimous decision. He came into the tournament on the back of a gold at the Stranja Memorial Tournament in the month of February. Now, this was his maiden international competition since moving to the 52 kilogram category from 49 kilogram category earlier this year. However, national champion Deepak Singh in 49 kilogram category had to settle for a silver medal after going down in a split verdict to opponent from Uzbekistan. And with that, we wrap up this edition of Midday News. Thanks so much for your time.